we're headed on a little road trip. I just got done getting ready. I'm eating my breakfast right now, and I am waiting for my friend Sydney to come pick me up because we are going to go meet another one of our other girlfriends at her house, get in her car, and head up north on a little girls' day trip to go see the cherry blossoms. I am so excited. They're absolutely stunning, and all of us need this little girls' day, so I'm excited to see what the day has planned for us, and I'm excited to take you guys along with us. Say hi. Girls day, woo! Yes, <laughs> we pulled over and look at all of these cherry blossoms. Oh my God. We are going to get some oranges. This man. Ohayou gozaimasu. We just picked up mikan, which I'm so excited. I haven't had mikan in probably eight years. Um, this bag was $10 and we had the choice of tankan or mikan and if you have a choice always get mikan We just got to Nakijin Castle. We are gonna go eat all the ice cream and see all the beautiful flowers. ice cream. I've never had cherry blossom ice cream, so here goes nothing. All right, guys, you need to keep me accountable here. I realize that I'm not a great at vlogging. I'm gonna be real. I always have my phone in my phone in my hand or my big camera, and when things are like filmable, I'm just like, oh, let me resort to my phone. I just don't think about my vlogging camera. So I need to get better at that. Um, I want to show you more like my day to day, meaning like me cooking our Japanese dinners or me just going to the grocery store. I mean, I know those are all things that you want to see. Those are things that I want to film and stuff too. I, like I said, just need to get better at that. For like my day to day, I mean like after this, I plan to um, go to a park, walk around, run around, kind of just get a little workout in. And then after, I don't know what I'm going to find. You know, I may come across a really cute bakery or things like that. And I really want to show you guys that kind of stuff and the cute houses and the narrow roads and all those things. So I promise to be better. I really want you guys to keep me accountable, even though I should keep myself accountable more. Um, but yeah. All right. I told you guys I'm going to get better at vlogging. So here we are. I am making okonomiyaki, which is one of Dalton's absolute favorite Japanese meals. Um, this is a powder. You can really use any powder, any okonomiyaki powder. And he loves it with cabbage, shrimp, and then green onion for the top. So I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so first I'm putting this in. I always eyeball it. Um, and if it's like too thick or too thin, I just add more water or powder as I go. Dalt loves this, so I usually make his bigger than mine. And some water, make sure it's filtered. Maybe a little bit more. Whoo! So this is a pretty good consistency. As you put your stuff in, like your ingredients, it gets thicker. So this is pretty good. 
and then just great cabbage. I am using this because it's just so much easier, but obviously you can use a knife or whatever. So then you add your shrimp and then you just mix this bad boy up. There's no need for any seasonings or anything like that because the powder already has it all. And then uh, the sauce that you put on top too. Good amount of oil. Slop it in. Yeah? I would dump this all, but this pan is very small. So. Honestly, I should have had Dalton film that flip because it was terrible. But we're getting there. Then I add tonkatsu sauce. I mean, there's of course okonomiyaki sauce, but I'm just using this because this is like, I use it for everything. And then this is Japanese Kewpie mayo. We use, I say mayo because it is mayo, but we use mayo as like, not like American mayo. It's like for dressing, salads, um, sandwiches, all the things. And then I just drizzle on top. Just like that. And then green onion. Usually we do fish flakes, but I don't have that, so this will do. Bring in the king, his okonomiyaki. Well, thanks, babe. Appreciate it. Love you. Okay, 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 goodbye. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, she named. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good, I'm so glad. I am currently waiting for my friend Sydney, and we are going to go up north about like 30 minutes and we are going to go to this like waterfront cafe that's outdoors uh, meet up with another friend of ours and just have lunch have girl time hang out they both have babies so i'm excited to have all the babies um, and just have a really good girls day we are at this cutest little cafe that overlooks the most beautiful water look at that crystal water walking to a kombini um, which basically is like a mini mart it's like a 7-eleven lawson um family mart all those things where in america you would think it's like a gas station but here it's basically like a food mini mart thing anyways i'm walking there right now dalton is currently um at a workout so i decided to just take a little walk see what i can find get some fresh air and do all the fun things. It's really cool too because we live right next to this place which is Okinawa's very first mall ever. Right here is a uh, KFC, 
which they have the greatest stuff you guys like American McDonald's, KFC, A&W, it's all like, they need to get with it because here it's amazing. I would say the closest company to my house is probably like a two or three minute walk. Um, it's actually Family Mart. I wish it was 7-Eleven. I mean, they're all great, but 7-Eleven is unreal. The food, everything. The food here is unreal too, but I truly would say food at companies are probably better than some restaurants in America. I'm not kidding you. The food's amazing, the drinks, all the stuff. So I'm excited to show you guys. Here are some of their candies. They love gummy stuff, which I love too. And I truly think that's why when it comes to candy, I definitely would choose gummy things over um, chocolates and all that stuff. But pretz, I'm sure many of you are familiar with that. But topo, I love it. It's literally crack in a box. People ask me sometimes, do I like it better than pokey? And my answer is yes. Pokey has the chocolate on the outside with like the bread thing in the middle. However, topo is the opposite way. And the chocolate is like more rich and better. And I've actually never tried the strawberry, so I'm probably gonna get that too. Here's choco pie. If you follow my sister and I, you know that we are obsessed with triple pie. It is so, so good. It's like a creamy custard in the middle with like a cake sponge type and then chocolate on the outside. And then over here is like all the dried seafood. So my favorite is dry squid. Ika, it's so good. I know it's not like the cutest thing for people to eat and Dalton will not kiss me after I eat it, which I don't blame him, but it is so good. Some, truly some of the best coffees are over here. And then all the teas. The teas are so, so good. Dalton says it's really, really strong tea tasting, which obviously. And then I wanna show you this. This is one of my favorite potato chips. It's like sticks that are, they literally taste like french fries. They're so good. Whenever I eat them during movies, Dalton absolutely hates it because they're so dang crunchy and loud. They're actually out of a lot of things. Um, I just picked up two of the last onigiris, but their hot foods truly are amazing. There's bacon carbonara. Here is a um, tomato. Oh, it's like a tomato ketchup pasta. All the amazing things. It is almost Valentine's Day and Dalton just got me the best gift ever. He is getting us licensed. I don't know why I'm like pointing. He's getting us licensed in scuba diving. I'm so excited. Uh, it is a three day course. Each day is eight hours long. And we also have to take a online um, test course type thing, which I think is like six hours. But in those three days after that, we are officially certified. Yesterday was our first day and we spent two of those hours in the classroom and then the rest of the six hours in the ocean. Uh, we practiced breathing skills, saving our buddy, um, what happens if we like lose our little regulators, which is like the thing that we breathe out of and um, so many more things, but it is so great. We're having so much fun. And after today, one more day and we are certified. We are on our way to our last and final day of our scuba certification. Here is all of our stuff. That's like our towels and um, clothes and everything after. And then we actually got this thing because we live on the fifth floor and when we get groceries, we just love to do it all at once. We don't have to keep going downstairs. So we bought it for that. However, we are now using it for our scuba stuff. We have our fins, booties, goggles, snorkels in here and our wetsuits are at the shop. And then we need some snacks. We are packing up our gear. This is mine. This is Dalton's here. And inside of here is our wetsuits, regulators, compass, diving computers, and a couple other things. But it's our last, last day.